so first of all let's uh, go into the vs code and uh, let's install uh, flash library for uh, which helps us to create an api in python so we just installed a flash library and now uh, let's open the project structure uh, as we can see we don't have any folder as of now let's uh, get into finder uh, in the mac and let's create a new folder for this and let's name it as python api and uh, after creating this let's go to the vs code and uh, let's open that folder in the vs code let's go to the documents and uh, let's click on python api and open so now uh, we are in the python api folder structure and uh, let's create api file and uh, i just pasted the flask uh, um, code and here uh, we are just uh, uh, printing the value uh, returning the value when we call the base root and uh, so the flask is shown as uh, it's not uh, installed in the laptop so in this case what we can do is uh, we f we we have we have saved it as a dot js file which should be dot py py so let's rename it and uh, let's go to the terminal and run python api dot py so still uh, no module uh, named flask we are using mac in this uh, in this case so let's give python 3 api.py now the server is running successfully let's uh, copy that uh, local url and uh, let's go to the postman in this case let's uh, send create a new api uh, endpoint uh, let's test the new api endpoint so let's paste this and let's send so we are getting the html tag as we have given there so this is what we are getting in the postman for this is the base root so for this one let's copy this whole of the api and let's uh, create as a prof profile kind of uh, url for this and let's print out profile in if uh, someone uh, hits that api so let's uh, now let's uh, give prof and uh, send the request we need to restart the server for this one to work so when let's start uh, re restarting the server we are getting some error so let's copy it i think we have used a uh, home function twice so let's copy what we have so let's uh, uh let's copy and remove this api so let's make it as a profile prof so let's remove a here in this case and uh instead of jsonify uh, books let's give a uh, profile so now let's restart the server So now we are successfully able to launch the server and let's uh, send the request now we are getting the profile. So now that this is working now let's see how we can handle the error request. So if we are uh, calling any of the unknown URLs so it needs to be giving us a uh, 404 uh, uh, status code and also the message. Uh, for the same so for that what we can do is uh for now let's uh, stop the server and uh, let's write a code for uh, that error code and we will be using this uh, uh, error code uh, so when we call anything other than what we have specified we have uh, not started the server so there is a 404 error uh, which we are sending and uh, now let's start the server by running uh, python3 api.py let's give python3 api.py um, 
so now we are able to start the server and let's try to run an uh, request which is a prof a which is a wrong request and we gave a correct request now we are able to handle the error as well by this way we can use the flash to uh, create a api endpoint in python If you still haven't uh, subscribed or liked and commented to the channel, please do.